technical and training institutions in central Kenya will soon develop a curriculum that suits the needs of the job market in central Kenya. Speaking at the Kenya School of Agriculture in Nyeri, where principals from 250 Tibet institutions have assembled, industry stakeholders believe that this will be the key to unlocking joblessness as graduates will suit the needs in the job market. The Tibet Act of 2013 allowed these institutions to develop curriculums that suit the needs of the areas in which they are set up. For you to train somebody, maybe in automotive, maybe as a cooperative manager, we want to have that cooperative manager with us so that he can tell us, to, for you to be a manager, these are the tasks. And when they give us the tasks, then we can come up with what we call occupational standards. And when we come up with occupational standards, then we can come up with a, a curriculum. That curriculum, when it is used, then you are going to produce an exact person like the manager who is in the field. People up here will get those graduates from the CBC. So we must be, we should be the senior CBC implementers. So, and that is why these processes, these issues of developing a curriculum, these issues of identify, and we will not learn something to go and fulfill a need outside. Because sometimes when it comes to the examination and the curriculum, sometimes those are the things that we don't require. You go to some of these institutions, you find what is there is something which were of old age. Take, for example, carburetor vehicles in automotive. Those ones are long gone now. We require the hybrid, we require experts in uh, diagnostics. So they have to understand what is really required in the market.